The scientific community are in awe after the startling revelation of termite mounds that have been active for an astonishing 34,000 years. Greetings, everyone. Today we will be delving into an intriguing topic. Scientists have made a remarkable discovery in South Africa, termite mounds that have been active for an astonishing 34,000 years. These mounds, found in Namaqualand, can be likened to intricate apartment complexes for termites and they have been continuously inhabited throughout their existence. Not only do these mounds offer valuable insights into past climates, revealing that the region was once more humid, but they also serve as vital contributors to carbon capture and storage, benefiting both the environment and soil health. By further exploring termite mounds, we may uncover valuable knowledge about climate change and the sustainability of ecosystems. So, without any more delay, let us dive right into our discussion. The scientific community in South Africa has been left astounded by the revelation that termite mounds in an arid region of the country, which are still home to termites, have been found to be over 30,000 years old, making them the oldest active termite hills on record. The researchers from Stellenbosch University determined that certain mounds in Namakwaland, located near the Buffels River, have an estimated age of 34,000 years based on radiocarbon dating. The study, led by Michel Francis, a senior lecturer in the university's Department of Soil Science, revealed the surprising age of the subjects. Their age far exceeded our expectations, Francis remarked. The findings were published in May in her research paper. During a recent statement, Francis noted the presence of these mounds during a time when saber-toothed cats and woolly mammoths roamed certain regions of the planet, and when vast portions of Europe and Asia were enveloped in icy conditions. It is worth mentioning that these mounds predate even some of the earliest cave paintings found in Europe. In this study, researchers have uncovered fossilized termite mounds that date back millions of years, surpassing the previously discovered 4,000-year-old mounds in Brazil. These ancient mounds are even visible from space, showcasing their remarkable age and significance. According to Francis, the Namaqualand mounds can be likened to an apartment complex in the termite world, and the available evidence suggests that these mounds have consistently served as habitats for termite colonies. The age of termite mounds in the Namaqualand landscape remained a mystery until samples were sent to experts in Hungary for radiocarbon dating, revealing their unexpected historical significance. According to Francis, there is a lack of awareness among people regarding the fact that these preserved landscapes hold special significance and are of ancient origin. The Afrikaans term hoiveltjes, meaning small hills, is used to describe the substantial mounds that can reach approximately 100 feet, 30 meters, in diameter. These termite nests extend as far as 10 feet beneath the surface of the ground. According to Francis, the researchers had to conduct meticulous excavations of certain sections of the mounds in order to collect samples. During this process, the termites responded by entering a state of heightened alertness and swiftly filling in the holes. In order to protect the termites from predators such as aardvarks, the team meticulously reconstructed the mounds. According to Francis, this project is not only an intriguing exploration of ancient structures, but also provides valuable insights into the prehistoric climate of Namakwaland, revealing that it was significantly more humid during the formation of these mounds. By adeptly gathering and depositing twigs and other decaying wood deep within the earth, the southern harvester termites demonstrate their mastery in the realm of carbon capture and storage. This process plays a crucial role in mitigating the effects of climate change by diminishing the quantity of carbon released into the atmosphere. Not only does it benefit the soil, but it also results in an abundance of wildflowers flourishing atop the termite mounds in an arid region. In light of the valuable insights they provide on climate change, ecosystem sustainability, and potentially even agricultural practices, Francis urged for further research to be conducted on termite mounds. It would be wise for us to examine the accomplishments of the termites in their mounds. These creatures were once considered quite uninteresting, she remarked. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.